everyone's going left. Myself done. But yeah, I got 50% of them. One task. I got 20% of them. And 100% of that one. What's up, homies? It's your tall homie, Thoughtster, coming back at you with his thumb sleeves and another gunsmith video uh, specifically for SD. Hot on the heels of the last one, which was uh, Peacekeeper best option for search and destroy in Call of Duty Mobile. Uh, today we have a gun that could very well be considered a contender for that top spot. In fact, if you watch any of the uh, pro player content creator videos lately, uh, they will swear that this gun, the KSP, is the bee's knees. It is the gun and uh, they say it's OP. Everyone's using it in the pro scene, in the competitive scene, and uh, it's surely gonna be nerfed. Where are you going, son? Sniper at the end? Yeah. Mochi has them. Bomb spotted. Bomb's here. They come from mid. Not enough. Oh, that's right. Forgot the bomb. Now, a point of differentiation. Most people playing this game, Call of Duty Mobile, are not pro players. They're just average players like myself, trying to improve, trying to get better, and we do not have godlike aim, right? We wish. The KSP is a burst weapon, three, three bullets per, per burst, and you need to consider that the movement meta we're in at the moment is very fast. It's, uh, it's hard to track people, so burst weapons aren't ideal for that. However, I just want to say, having used this gun a lot in ranked SD lately, it is a lot of fun. It has a very fast ADS movement speed, which means you can just skulk down sights all around the map which uh which is my kind of style it's the it's the slithering style of the hissing thoughts now if you don't hit your opponent with that first burst and kill them uh you, you're going to be bursting at you know bursting at the seams uh trying to trying to kill them as you track them still doable compared to a full automatic weapon like the Peacekeeper that would deal with that, that sort of situation a lot better. So I would say it is a skilled weapon. The Peacekeeper used to be a skilled weapon when the recoil was more difficult to manage. These days with a series of buffs, uh, it is it is now a much more viable option. The KSP, uh, I think if you're a noob uh, getting this gun and jumping into rank, you're probably gonna struggle a bit um, now, I am someone that does not like burst weapons. I like this, this KSP. However, I did come off the back of uh, doing a weapons grind um, for the SMGs, and the KSP was a lot of fun, and I tried um, a number of different loadouts for that. Um, if you stuck, stick a 5MW hipfire laser on it, it its hipfire is freaking awesome. You know, at, at 8 meters, it's, it's gonna, it's insane. Now for s and I have a loadout that doesn't have um, hip fire, that doesn't have a laser at all, which is uh, similar to the Peacekeeper. That's a um, that's an extra selling point for me as an SND player. Um, and it is still, uh, it still does a decent job hip firing at a, at a, at a close range. I got sandwiched one around the corner there as well. I have the bomb. Bombs here. Oh yeah. Coming through this spawn. Got him. No. So if you want to try this gun out, I would say uh, take take the loadout I'm going to share and play around into some pub matches first. Get get used to it. Check your tracking. Try getting used to just firing when you need to, when you've, you've got the, the enemy in your sights. And try being sneaky and uh, catching them unawares um, and then jump into rank and try it. But for S&D, 
where you know it can be a mix of aggressive but also you know more passive and flanking styles it's it's kind of ideal so in short i think the peacekeeper is a more consistent and reliable weapon ars can wall bang as an extra versus smgs but the smg uh you're you're quicker but here is how it is i essentially now just have three guns for, for SD, Peacekeeper, the KSP, which I've been using a lot lately, it's it's just fun. And the DLQ, that's um that's pretty much the my, my go-to is for SD. There's a bunch of other things, but they're they're there for fun or to try something different. Um, but you know, if I want something that reliable that will help me win matches or not lose them with too much um, shame, then uh, then then the KSP is right up there. So I recommend you try it. And uh, here's the loadout. This, the slowdown is courtesy of Signu. He has done uh, about three videos on the KSP. This is his latest build, although I will link at the end a video where he did more in-depth analysis uh, and it had um, a bunch of other loadouts which I, I tried and used and they, they were fine, but this is uh, what he considers to be the best currently. So it's s &D. You're going to need suppression. This, this is fine. The, re the recoil is controllable. So we're going to need that agency suppressor. 8.9 extended barrel for the bullet speed. There is also the task force barrel, but you've got um, a stacking to your, your recoil concerns. And really we, we're always going for zero, zero recoil. So we go with the 8.9 extended barrel. Lightweight stock, 20% ADS movement speed boost. That's amazing, we need that. And uh, adding on to that, we've got the strike foregrip. So this is for gliding around the map basically and then the Russell grip gives us the 20% ADS time uh, so this makes this competitive and note yep the laser's missing um, you could throw on the aim assist laser for your bullet spread but it gives visible laser sights um, as does that if you want to hit fire a lot then that would be the way to go or even that one where the, you don't have a visible laser that's something to consider I think that even without a laser um, the hip fire is, is fine at close range so this this is pretty solid and what you probably want to consider doing is making sure that you've got the skulker here for uh, walking or crouching. So like I say, if you want to ADS and skulk around the map, you can do that pretty quickly. It, it, it feels fun. Okay, have at it. And um, if you're using this gun or you're using it following this video, drop a comment about what you think about it. And while you're there, uh, drop a like and a subscribe if you're not subscribed. We'd love for you to come back and see more videos that I'm doing. What, what will I do next? Alrighty. Chip. Use code has.